Coming up on TLDR from GeekWire. Glasses that help you live in real life by blocking out screens. Washington Governor Jay Inslee defends net neutrality and Waze expands its carpooling services. From GeekWire, it's TLDR, our news rundown on tech, business, and other geekiness. TLDR is presented by ReachNow. Experience the future of mobility at reachnow.com. It seems like everywhere you go, there's a screen that's competing for your attention, whether it's your phone, your laptop, or even a TV. So if you're trying to spend more time in real life, then you might want to look into some screen blocking glasses. In addition to blocking UV rays, IRL glasses are able to block out the light from most TVs and some computers. So when you put the glasses on, LCD and LED screens will look like they've just been turned off. The glasses recently launched on Kickstarter, where you can pledge $49 for a pair. The company says the design of IRL glasses was inspired by the 1988 film They Live, which features a magical pair of glasses that can block ads. During a panel for Techstars Seattle Startup Week, Washington Governor Jay Inslee spoke about net neutrality and criticized Donald Trump. And the fact that we now have a president who's stripped us of this protection is galling to me. Back in February, Washington became the first state in the country to pass a net neutrality law. The law is meant to preserve open internet protections for Washington residents by stopping internet providers from creating fast and slow lanes. When asked about legal challenges to Washington state's law, Inslee said, bring it on. If the president sues us, we'll be ready. Waze is growing its carpooling service nationwide. As part of the expansion, the traffic and navigation app will offer rides to and from 50 Amazon distribution centers. The purpose of Waze Carpool is to match drivers and riders who have similar commutes so they can save time and money. Waze drivers make 54 cents per mile. That's the maximum IRS mileage reimbursement rate to avoid commercial tax and insurance requirements while still keeping rates low for riders. You're probably wondering how low these rates are. A Monday morning trip from downtown Seattle to downtown Tacoma, for example, would run around $7 on Waze. The same trip would cost more than $50 on Uber Pool. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with the latest in tech. I'm Starla Simpaco. Thanks for watching TLDR. We'll see you tomorrow.